Hey, what's going on guys? My name is Silent Core and welcome back to my Red Dead series. Now a lot of people were very excited to log on this morning and download the Frontier Pursuits DLC only to find out they are being incorrectly charged for some of the new roles. So in this video I'm going to be going over the issue that is causing people to be charged for registering as a bounty hunter, a trader or a collector and how you can actually go about getting this money back. So to start either of the three roles there is an upfront cost of 15 gold bars, however each of them has an ability to unlock it for free. So first of all we'll go over the bounty hunter role and this one was actually glitched for me, it should have been free however it did charge me 15 gold bars. Now what you have to do to start the bounty hunter role is head over to Rhodes and meet the legendary bounty hunter. This cutscene will start when you head basically to the notice board right outside of the sheriffs. Next up the collector role, this was also glitched for myself, it should have been free but again charged me the 15 gold bars to set this one up. But the collector can be started from travelling to the gold icon on your map you'll see and you'll meet travelling saleswoman Madame Nazar and you'll have to purchase the collector's bag basically to start this one. Now everybody that's completed the collectibles in GTA Online where you collect all 54 playing cards I believe should be unlocking this role for free. Now I actually spent several hours doing that myself and I was quite disappointed to see I never got this role for free so this one seems to be also glitched. And last of all is the trader role. Now I was playing on Xbox so I was charged the full 15 gold bars for starting the trader role. However if you are on PlayStation 4 the trader role should be absolutely free for you to join. So let me know in the comments if the trader role has been working for you guys. From what I can see it's mostly just the bounty hunter and the collector that seem to be glitched for most people. If you haven't already started the trader role you'll need to head over to your post office and collect the note for or the letter from Crips and once you read this you will be required to be a posse leader to do the first sourcing mission. So I was sent to Armadillo, I'm not sure if you guys will get a different location than I did for your first source mission, but I had to head there, pick up uh, some supplies and take them back to camp to get the business running. Now you might be wondering why this glitch has actually happened, why you're being charged for things that you should be getting for free, either if you have Twitch Prime registered within the time frame they said, or you spent all that time in Grand Theft Auto Online collecting all those playing cards and you should be getting these for free. Well it looks like Game Match Set on Reddit has actually done a bit of investigation work and seems to have found what is causing this issue. And Rockstar Support for some reason said that within 24 hours from downloading it might actually cause an issue where you're being charged to start these roles when they should be given to you for free. So if you guys are getting the in-game message that's stating that you have to pay 15 gold bars to start a role that you should be getting for free otherwise if you have Twitch Prime or you've done the GTA Online playing cards then what you might have to do is wait a whole day and for the Rockstar to servers to realize that you have done this and for it to sync so that you actually can start the role for free and you don't get charged. Now what's interesting is the person that posted this on Reddit actually asked for a refund since they'd already paid for the role and Rockstar replied saying, I really thought I could help you on this matter but I'm really sorry, I don't have an option to provide a refund on this matter. Now I thought this was absolutely insane that they weren't providing a refund for this since I'm sure a lot of people like myself signed up to Twitch Prime just for this update and also did the uh, playing cards collectibles in GT Online just for this update to get the benefits and the fact that we have to wait a whole day and be a day late starting the role doesn't seem very fair. However this person actually made a follow up post on Reddit and said that they got their gold back but they got to argue hard. So if any of you guys have already spent this gold on getting the roles just because you wanted to play it on the release day and you should have got them for free, what to do is open up a Rockstar support ticket and I guess argue your gold back so if you're really desperate to get your 15 or 30 gold back or, or whatever you guys spent then at least there is some sort of potential to get your money back. But yeah I just thought I'd make this video and let you guys know this issue is happening in game to a lot of people. I'm going to be contacting Rockstar myself and hopefully I'll have my collector and also my bounty hunter upfront costs refunded. And let me know down in the comments how many of you guys have actually encountered this issue. So I'm going to have a lot of videos up today and in the coming days covering this update. There's just so much new content to cover. So if you haven't already, please do leave the video a like and subscribe so you don't miss out on any future videos. Have a good one guys and I'll catch you in the next video.